My name is Jim Burke. I was born and raised in Lackawanna, so I spent a lifetime here except for my time in the service. The city of Lackawanna is 102 years old as we speak. Um, used to be a steel town. Uh, at one time we employed over 25,000 people. The town sort of grew up around that steel plant. And it was a booming town, uh, up and down Ridge Road. Businesses were open 24 hours a day. Now over the years it's eroded to uh, the steel plant's finally closed. The steel company has folded up. Businesses that dealt with the steel company have folded up. There was a, a, well, just a frightful vacuum, and a lot of people suffered financially. To me, it is probably one of the most positive things that has happened uh, in western New York and in the city of Lackawanna in a long time. This project spearheaded the redevelopment of the Bethlehem site and uh, all the brownfields that are out there. It rid us of one of the dirtiest neighbors we ever had, which is Bethlehem Steel. This is a complete switch, of course. This community is in love with these windows. We're so impressed by what they see. I call them gentle giants. But they've caught the imagination of everybody. My husband and I have a business in Lackawanna, Murph's Warsaw Grill. Um, we've been in business for over 20 years. Our business is close enough to the windmills where we can see them and they're so magnificent, they're so beautiful, but you don't hear anything from them. No noise, no pollution, nothing at all. It's been nothing but a positive for the city. We originally had eight operational windmills working in the area and now they're adding on to that. The structures are going up now. You can see it when you're riding along Route 5 and it's exciting to see more of the windmills coming up. They are such a wonderful source of power and so environmentally friendly. I work here and I'm also a homeowner and I'm always watching to see where the taxes are going and they've been pretty consistent, not, not growing over the years and it's been a, it helps keeping the, the taxes to a minimum. So now that we see some life there and using it uh, in a very practical and useful way, Lackawanna is one of the most progressive communities out here because we welcome them with open arms. My family is born and raised in Lackawanna, as my husband's family is too. Um, we're fortunate enough to have been able to stay in Lackawanna, raise our children here, and now we have grandchildren here. And it's such a blessing to have the generations be able to share with us in this prosperous time of the windmills because it's just such an asset to the community. I think that in a smaller way, it'll pick up where Bethlehem left off and at the same time be a awful lot cleaner. We feel so blessed to have our grandchildren and my parents' great-grandchildren be in a community that's so forward-moving. To think about something like that and be able to be a part of it is wonderful. <laughs>